Welcome to Glory Zone Channel, a place where God's Word resides richly. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel as we take the gospel of Christ around the world. Glory to God. Do not forget to subscribe. Psalm 71, a prayer for God's protection. I run to you, Lord, for protection. Don't disappoint me. You do what is right, so come to my rescue. Listen to my prayer and keep me safe. Be my mighty rock, the place where I can always run for protection. Save me by your command. You are my mighty rock and my fortress. Come and save me, Lord God, from vicious and cruel and brutal enemies. I depend on you, and I have trusted you since I was young. I have relied on you from the day I was born. You brought me safely through birth, and I always praise you. Many people think of me as something evil, but you are my mighty protector, and I praise and honor you all day long. Don't throw me aside when I am old. Don't desert me when my strength is gone. My enemies are plotting because they want me dead. They say, now we'll catch you. God has deserted you and no one can save you. Come closer, God. Please hurry and help. Embarrass and destroy all who want me dead. Disgrace and confuse all who want to hurt me. I will never give up hope or stop praising you. All day long I will tell the wonderful things you do to save your people. But you have done much more than I could possibly know. I will praise you, Lord God, for your mighty deeds and your power to save. You have taught me since I was a child, and I never stop telling about your marvelous deeds. Don't leave me when I am old and my hair turns gray. Let me tell future generations about your mighty power. Your deeds of kindness are known in the heavens. No one is like you. You made me suffer a lot, but you will bring me back from this deep pit and give me new life. You will make me truly great and take my sorrow away. I will praise you, God, the Holy One of Israel. You are faithful. I will play the harp and sing your praises. You have rescued me. I will celebrate and shout, singing praises to you with all my heart. All day long I will announce your power to save. I will tell how you disgraced and disappointed those who wanted to hurt me. Psalm 72 by Solomon. A prayer for God to guide and help the king. Please help the king to be honest and fair, just like you, our God. Let him be honest and fair with all your people, especially the poor. Let peace and justice rule every mountain and hill. Let the king defend the poor, rescue the homeless, and crush everyone who hurts them. Let the king live forever like the sun and the moon. Let him be as helpful as rain that refreshes the meadows and the ground. Let the king be fair with everyone, and let there be peace until the moon falls from the sky. Let his kingdom reach from sea to sea, from the Euphrates River across all the earth. Force the desert tribes to accept his rule, and make his enemies crawl in the dirt. Force the rulers of Tarshish and of the islands to pay taxes to him. Make the kings of Sheba and of Seba bring gifts. Make other rulers bow down and all nations serve him. Do this because the king rescues the homeless when they cry out, and he helps everyone who is poor and in need. The king has pity on the weak and the helpless and protects those in need. He cares when they hurt, and he saves them from cruel and violent deaths. Long live the king. Give him gold from Sheba. Always pray for the king and praise him each day. Let cities overflow with food and hills be covered with grain, just like Mount Lebanon. Let the people in the cities prosper like wildflowers. 
May the glory of the King shine brightly forever, like the sun in the sky. Let him make nations prosper and learn to praise him. Lord God of Israel, we praise you. Only you can work miracles. We will always praise your glorious name. Let your glory be seen everywhere on earth. Amen and Amen. This ends the prayers of David, the son of Jesse. Psalm 73, a psalm by Asaph. God is good. God is truly good to Israel, especially to everyone with a pure heart. But I almost stumbled and fell because it made me jealous to see proud and evil people and to watch them prosper. They never have to suffer. They stay healthy and they don't have troubles like everyone else. Their pride is like a necklace and they commit sin more often than they dress themselves. Their eyes poke out with fat and their minds are flooded with foolish thoughts. They sneer and say cruel things and because of their pride they make violent threats. They dare to speak against God and to order others around. God will bring his people back and they will drink the water he so freely gives. Only evil people would say, God most high cannot know everything. Yet all goes well for them and they live in peace. What good did it do me to keep my thoughts pure and refuse to do wrong? I am sick all day and I am punished each morning. If I had said evil things, I would not have been loyal to your people. It was hard for me to understand all this. Then I went to your temple and there I understood what will happen to my enemies. You will make them stumble never to get up again. They will be terrified, suddenly swept away and no longer there. They will disappear, Lord, despised like a bad dream the morning after. Once I was bitter and broken-hearted, I was stupid and ignorant, and I treated you as a wild animal would. But I never really left you, and you hold my right hand. Your advice has been my guide, and later you will welcome me in glory. In heaven I have only you, and on this earth you are all I want. My body and mind may fail, but you are my strength and my choice forever. Powerful Lord God, all who stay far from you will be lost, and you will destroy those who are unfaithful. It is good for me to be near you. I choose you as my protector and I will tell about your wonderful deeds. Psalm 74, a special psalm by Asaph. A prayer for the nation in times of trouble. Our God, why have you completely rejected us? Why are you so angry with the ones you care for? Remember the people you rescued long ago, the tribe you chose to be your very own. Think of Mount Zion, your home. Walk over to the temple left in ruins forever by those who hate us. Your enemies roared like lions in your holy temple, and they have placed their banners there. It looks like a forest chopped to pieces. They used axes and hatchets to smash the carvings. They burned down your temple and badly disgraced it. They said to themselves, we'll crush them. Then they burned every one of your meeting places all over the country. There are no more miracles and no more prophets. Who knows how long it will be like this? Our God, how much longer will our enemies sneer? Won't they ever stop insulting you? Why don't you punish them? Why are you holding back? Our 
God and King, you have ruled since ancient times. You have won victories everywhere on this earth. By your power, you made a path through the sea, and you smashed the heads of sea monsters. You crushed the heads of the monster Leviathan, then fed him to wild creatures in the desert. You opened the ground for streams and springs and dried up mighty rivers. You rule the day and the night, and you put the moon and sun in place. You made summer and winter and gave them to the earth. Remember your enemies, Lord. They foolishly sneer and won't respect you. You treat us like pet doves, but they mistreat us. Don't keep forgetting us and letting us be fed to those wild animals. Remember the agreement you made with us. Violent enemies are hiding in every dark corner of the earth. Don't disappoint those in need or make them turn from you. But help the poor and homeless to shout your praises. Do something, God. Defend yourself. Remember how those fools sneer at you all day long. Don't forget the loud shouts of your enemies. Psalm 75, a psalm and a song by Asaph for the music leader. To the tune, don't destroy. Praise God for all He has done. Our God, we thank you for being so near to us. Everyone celebrates your wonderful deeds. You have set a time to judge with fairness. The earth trembles and its people shake. You alone keep its foundations firm. You tell every bragger, stop bragging. And to the wicked you say, don't boast of your power. Stop bragging. Quit telling me how great you are. Our Lord and our God, victory doesn't come from the east or the west or from the desert. You are the one who judges. You can take away power and give it to others. You hold in your hand a cup filled with wine, strong and foaming. You will pour out some for every sinful person on this earth, and they will have to drink until it is gone. But I will always tell about you, the God of Jacob, and I will sing your praise. Our Lord, you will destroy the power of evil people, but you will give strength to those who are good.